So there's this app that comes preloaded, most likely on the, on the phone that you have. And it's like this health app. It actually counts your steps. They used to have these things called Fitbits that you could put on and that would tell you how many steps you have in a day. But now your phone does it for you, right? And so, um, like, I didn't know this was even a thing. Like, when I was growing up, I didn't have a cell phone. No one talked about how many steps you should have in a day. But apparently now, uh, there's a certain amount of steps you should have in a day. So I Googled this. And a healthy, average adult who wants to remain healthy, 8,000 to 10,000 steps a day. That, that's your number, apparently, to be a healthy adult. And what was really funny, well, I don't even know how many steps. I've never even opened the app on my phone. So um, I couldn't even tell you how many steps I have in a day. Maybe I should start doing that. But it's funny, on, I was watching Instagram Reel just the other day. I had a minute to veg for a second. Um, and I saw this Instagram Reel with this woman who put a Fitbit on her uh, English Mastiff to see how many steps this English Mastiff took in a day. The dog had like 33 steps the entire day. So I think she was just trying to prove how lazy her dog was. But I just think it's funny, like in our world, uh, we're kind of wearing busyness as a badge and we're always moving, always doing something. Uh, even even if we're trying to veg, like, you know, me, just trying to relax, chill out, watch some Instagram reels or something like that. We're always doing something and slowing down and being still isn't something that's really greatly valued in the culture that you and I live in. Um, busyness is valued. You say, hey, how are you doing to your friends? Oh man, I'm busy. And we kind of wear that as a badge of honor. Like, oh yeah, me too. Good, good. I'm glad. Um, being still, slowing down is something that um, is a solution and an antidote to a very hurried soul. And it's probable it's most likely that you, like me, fight against the temptation to adopt the practices of the culture you and I live in and end up with a busy, hurried soul. And it's really difficult to hear the voice of God and listen to him and learn how to attune our hearts and ears to him, learn how to hear his voice if we're busy and we're hurried. The scriptures talk about this. Uh, Psalms chapter 37, verse 7. I'm just going to read one verse. In fact, I want to encourage you, uh, you may want to like grab the scriptures for yourself, read this, memorize it, listen to it on the Bible app a couple of times. You may want to memorize this verse. Psalms chapter 37, verse 7. The psalmist writes, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. And right on the other side of that coin in this verse, he says, and don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. In other words, don't worry about unethical people around you at your workplace who get ahead. Don't worry about neighbors who chase after things to attain things that are ultimately empty. Don't compare yourself on social media to everybody around you in the culture that we live in. Instead, learn to patiently be still and wait upon the Lord to act. The antidote to a hurried soul is found in the scriptures. It, it's not a secret. Being spiritually mature, walking with the Lord, having a, a sense of spiritual depth and groundedness about you there's no secret pathway to get there. It's really clear and it's revealed in his word to us. Be still. Wait patiently upon the Lord. My hope for you today, my encouragement to you today, is to begin practicing stillness. Even if it's just five minutes of no phone, no music, no TV, no screens. Five minutes you could start this habit today, right now, to turn everything off and just be still for five minutes and wait patiently upon the Lord to act instead of rushing into your day and getting a bunch of stuff done off your to-do list, which might feel good, but it may add to this hurried soul that you may already be combating.
So God, I pray that we would not just be hearers of your word, we'd be doers of it, that God, we would be building into our lives daily moments of stillness and waiting upon you to patiently act. Lord, help us live our lives in a rhythm and at a pace to where we can actually hear your voice, learn what your voice sounds like, so we can enjoy friendship with you and enjoy your presence. So God, I pray that today that you, we would take that time to be with you and hear from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, if these conversations, these scriptures and devotions are helpful to you, I want you to like them, share them with your friends. If you want other people to enjoy this journey that we're on. If we've not met, my name is Paul Alexander. I serve as the executive here at Sun Valley. I'm really glad to be spending a little time with you today.